Hi there, I'm Dave H at directio.org. In the last video, we built simple voice bot using Dialogflow. In this video, we're gonna add call transfer capability to it, where Jim Bones is responsible for the call transfer. Let's do it. Here's the simple Dialogflow app that we created in the previous episode. Now, we're gonna add call transfer to it. So how does call transfer work? Let's take a look over back at our dialog flow bot. And there are a couple ways you can do it. In this particular bot, we have an option to talk to Chad, the author of the report. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if we go look at that, there's an intent that matches that request to talk to Chad and then a follow-up intent that confirms. And if we go look at the follow-up intent, we can see down here, we've added a response for dialog flow phone gateway and we said we want to transfer a call to this number, which happens to be my cell phone number. So this is one way you can do it, and that information will flow back to you in the form of an intent. However, this really only works for US numbers. So if you're in a non-US, or you're transferring to a non-US destination, what you should do uh, in that case is create a custom payload and put some JSON object in there that describes how and where you want to transfer the call to. And we'll show you how to parse that out back on the gem bone side. So let's go back to our little application. Before, we weren't doing much when we got these voice bot events, but now we're going to look to see whether we've got a request to do a call transfer. We're going to look at every intent, kind of scour through it, and see if a call transfer is being requested. To do that, we need a little JavaScript, so we're going to use a function tab. And after that, we're going to switch based on whether or not we found something. Uh, or whether or not a call transfer was requested. If it was, let's say something and then let's go ahead and complete the call. Um, all right, instead of still going straight out, we will, we will look at this. Okay, let's just call this uh, for a call transfer. And basically it's going to look like this. A little bit of JavaScript, as I said. We're looking at intent. Oops. So if it's an intent, we're going to look at the query result. In the query result object, there'll be fulfillment messages. We're looking for a fulfillment message where the platform is telephony and it has an object called uh, telephony transfer call. And in there, we'll find a phone number. Now again, the way to figure all that out is by looking at the, mes the messages that come back when you do do uh, a transfer. If you, this is where the information is stored when you use that um, dialog phone gateway that I mentioned. If you use a custom payload of your own, then it'll appear, and you know, you'll have to parse for it in a different way, but it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Look for call transfer. Okay, so, and uh, what we're doing here is populating uh, property on the message object, message.transfer2. So let's switch based on whether that got, let's just say if message.transfer2 is of type string, we're gonna do one thing, which is to transfer the call. Otherwise, we'll do something else, which is nothing. So if we got that, let's say, please hold while we transfer a call. So let's go ahead and transfer it to the requested number. I'm going to put a specific caller ID on for the trunk that I'm going to go out. And that's it. Now, in this case, I'm going to call from, I'll be calling, I'm going to call from my SIP phone, since I'm going to be transferring out to my cell phone. How many pages is the report? Can I speak to Chad? Yes, I do.
Hello, hello. Here we go. Call transfer added to our little voice bot. 